Okay, training camp is right around the corner, and the Detroit Lions get really good news right before training camp. And it's it's just like, man, I think I think everyone's missing this, and it's it's good to see. So it, before we get into the video, w Craig and I live here in the uh, Grand Haven Spring Lake area over on the west side of the state. So hope to see you out and about. If you ever see us, make sure you say hi. Uh, it happens. It definitely happens more than I thought it would, where people are like, hey, YouTube. Yeah, that's right. So um, if you see us say, hey, and um, because we put it up there a couple weeks ago, just like where, you know, generally, where do you live? Right. It's just like because the, the Lions fans are all over the state of Michigan. The state of Michigan is huge and we love football and love seeing the Lions do well. So we're all over the place. Can't wait to can't wait to hopefully meet you one day. OK, so here's the great news. And there's two things. Well, first of all, what, what got me thinking about this was Caleb Williams signs his rookie deal. Um, no surprise in that, but it is kind of surprise because JJ McCarthy has yet to sign his rookie deal. Training camps right around the corner and JJ McCarthy's not out there yet. So it's like, well, let's, let's take a look at that first and then we'll get into Caleb Williams. And that's the news that's really striking to me that I, I love. So Vikings haven't engaged much with JJ McCarthy on rookie deal. Five first round picks remained unsigned. The bears have two and the Vikings have too beautiful jj mccarthy is in a weird situation one possible explanation the vikings want to see what happens with caleb williams contract well his contract did just sign um just a couple hours ago and then once that happens they think maybe mccarthy's deal will go through with the contracts for draft picks slotted as value there are three major issues signing bonus language to void remaining guarantees and offset language to as to remaining guarantees. So here are, are the guys that aren't signed yet. I think Roma Dunze did sign. The, the starting to happen now is training camp's about a week away. But this is good news for Lions. There's just some stuff there, right, with J.J. McCarthy. And then when he is on the field, it hasn't been going great. Some people have even seen him as the third quarterback. Awesome. We'll get back to him in just a second. But here is what I thought about um, Caleb Williams one of the things that I, I think is getting lost in this is everyone's like, man, the NFC North is going to be wild. And I agree that it will be in the future. But this year, you've got a rookie quarterback with the Bears, a rookie quarterback or a bad quarterback with the Vikings. And then you've got the Packers who, let's see what Jordan Love is. I think he's good, but is he great? Will he be even better this year? Will he regress? I don't know. There's a lot of questions there. But I think it's clearly, this division is clearly the lions to lose and I, I we'll see what happens in future years of course but this year i feel really good about it because great news caleb williams struggled this spring there's no doubt about it and here's actually a bears website trying to give it reasons and excuses of why he why that bears fans shouldn't panic right so when you have to come out and say hey don't you know don't panic because the practices haven't looked good. Look, you can go back here. They actually compared Justin Fields to Caleb Williams in this situation where Matt Nagy had to come out and defend Justin Fields. Matt Eberflus has to come out and be like, it's okay. He gets early. There were some things, you know, we had a good defense. Our defense is good because he didn't look good there for a couple of practices this spring. So here they go and they, they list reasons why you shouldn't panic. But I look at these as reasons why the lions are in great shape against the bears. It's all new for full offense. They're all learning the offense and act actual application at the same time. So you've got a new offensive quarter, new quarterback. Shane Waldron is putting in, in for everyone now. And it's no longer only a classroom setting. It's not just Williams. Perfect. It's not just him. It's other players, new offense, trying to get on the same page. When you compare that to lions who are now going into Another year of Ben Johnson's offense, Jared Goff, the continuity from top down, beautiful. Versus, all right, reboot this thing again. Even when facing second string, third string, or cut level players rather than starters, quarterbacks Brett Rippon and Tyson Bad Badgett only made a few plays more that day than Williams. So everybody's terrible on the offense okay this is great this is this is great news next one 
The Bears' defense is better now. Mm, okay. So they're saying, hey, hey, you know, just us defense is so good. Like, it's just crazy. Like, we're, they're, they're disguising coverages more. The Bears' defense is, is much improved and was really tough there at the end of the season. But is this the greatest defense we've ever seen in OTAs? No pads on? I mean, come on. Come on. They, you have a returning top 15 ooh, defense. <laughs> Obviously going against a younger rookie quarterback who's getting acclimated and learning things. That is what it's supposed to look like, Baird said. William struggling is a good thing. That's right. This is a very good defense, and I'd rather my QB struggles and learns. A little adversity is good. This is going to be good for his development. That's right. We want to see him struggle. He's the number one overall pick, you know, so it's like you don't want to see him struggle, do you? So that's interesting. Let's look at some more excuses. Ah, iron sharpens iron. Yeah, the Bears know the quarterback without experience is not going to look good especially effective against a strong experienced defense and will gauge the level of play on that side of the ball according to these pro accordingly as they progress they don't want to necessarily smoother smother williams every day at practice then again so they they don't want to smother him then again they don't want to expect to soften things for him every day just to accommodate a less experienced player so we all have a vested interest in wanting to see that young man grow and become battle tested and ready for day one. We're going to give him everything that we have every day. So he just, the defensive coordinator says, we're going to give him everything we got. He can't handle it yet. Plain and simple. Love it. <laughs> this is just awesome to see. Is there any more reasons? Level one. Remember, he is a rookie. Williams is starting from scratch in the NFL. Like any other rookie is going to begin OTAs at an advanced stage. So, He's a rookie. That's right. This is the whole point of, of this video and why the Bears are going to ultimately just not be ready this year. You have a rookie, unless you're CJ Stroud with an incredible, unbelievable rookie year that we've never seen. It's hard. It's just hard for rookies. And so to come out and say all these things to make you feel better is really good. But at the same time, um, it's it's hard. It's seven on seven. Yes. Now, if it's 11 on 11, and there were pads, then he would actually be getting hit. So that's not good. Supporting cast. Yes, he has talent around him. But again, there's going to be a lot more coming at him as the pads come on and things start to happen. So the Lions are in great shape going into this season because the NFC North wide open. You got the Bears rookie quarterback, a lot of weapons, good defense, rookie quarterback. Vikings rookie quarterback or a bad quarterback depending on who they go with they're solid all around but they're kind of in a reboot and then you look at the the Packers the Packers have a good quarterback good defense but limited weapons they lost their running back wide receiver it's like Christian Watts you know their their receivers are are they good are they bad so then you look at the Lions offensive line great the one weakness of the secondary fixed You've got guys like Sam Laporta, Brian Branch, Jameer Gibbs, Jameson Williams, St. Brown, all going on, going into year two, year three of Aiden Hutchinson, talent everywhere, David Montgomery. It's like, okay, I feel really good about the Lions' chances. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next one.